Our main product, the teaser trailer, has a consistent theme of darkness and mystery throughout. In this, we specifically focused on getting across the concept of the presence of a ghost. The trailer initiates with a car park scene in which Yasmin was murdered. This was a dark setting, which was suitable for such a significant scene as it resulted in the death of Yasmin, yet the birth of her ghost. It also emphasised her transformation into the supernatural world. Overall, the tone of the trailer was quite dark, which corresponds to the tone of both the magazine and poster. In the trailer, the idea of the ghost was evident to the audience in the scene in which Yasmin's ghost was shown to leave her body. The magazine and poster both uh, further accentuate the ghostly theme. The main focus of the poster is Yasmin. She is the largest image and is highly edited, which brings all the attention onto her. The image of Yasmin has been edited in a way in which she appears pale and ghostly, which suggests she is a supernatural being. The edges of Yasmin's face have uh, appear quite blurry, which again make her look lifeless and implies that she is different to the second character on the poster. Likewise, the magazine also has a large image of, image of Yasmin, which also helps to get across the fact that Yasmin is the main character. In the magazine, we kept Yasmin in character and hinted that she is a ghost. This was done by creating a shadow of Yasmin's hair and lowering, lowering the opacity of it. We also made Yasmin's face and lips look very pale, which also suggests that her character is a ghost. Throughout all three of our ancillary texts, we have kept the font and colour of our title consistent. This creates a link between all three of our texts and ensures that they all complement each other. This also maintains continuity between the three. The title of our film in the magazine has been blurred to make it look eerie and the same effect has been put onto the tagline in the film poster. We use the colour white for all the writing in our trailer, poster and the film title in the magazine as white has connotations of innocence, purity and light. These are the connotations we wish to put forward to the audience as we want to show that Yasmin is the protagonist who has returned from the dead to help Misha. The colour scheme, scheme we chose is very effective in our ancillary texts. We have made sure to use a dark colour scheme in all three of our texts. The poster is mainly black and blue. Blue is a cold colour which has connotations of a genre of thriller and mystery and also helps to get across the theme of ghosts. The colour black dominates the magazine. Uh, use, of the post use of black in the poster further exaggerates the genre and is successful in giving a creepy turn to the magazine. In both the poster and magazine, Yasmin's eye colour is emphasised and brightened. Her eye acts as a symbol which, co which connects the ancillary texts. The eye emphasises her ghostly qualities and her newfound power as she can see everything, yet this power is unable to give her an advantage over the other characters in the narrative. Within this trailer, we showed Yasmin's eyes before she was killed. We did this to reflect the transformation Yasmin went through, as she went from being in a situation she did not see coming and could not escape to being, in, to being able to see and hear everything before others do. The text on the magazine is matched to the colour of Yasmin's eye, which complements her eye and maintains a focus on her. For feedback on our teaser trailer, before we began it, we created surveys using SurveyMonkey. By using this online survey, it enabled us to build our survey in a short amount of time. With these surveys, we printed out 20 copies and handed them out to our peers. We received these results a few days later and then transformed them into charts and tables. The results confirmed that our target audience would range from 16 years to 24. From the results we have collected, you can see that we have taken on the preferences of our target audience and incorporated them into our final outcome. For example, one question asks, what type of pace do you prefer? Our feedback on this is shown. Majority of our audience wanted to see a fast-paced teaser trailer. As a group, in our trailer, I believe we definitely created fast cuts and scenes throughout to create a dramatic impact that our audience would then want to watch. Moreover, we also questioned our audience which hybrid genre they favoured more out of horror and drama, drama and action, and comedy and romance. Drama and action received the highest amount of numbers in our survey. We received feedback throughout the process of creating the teaser trailer. Initially, we began filming our killing scene under a bridge. We felt that the footage we got was actually quite impressive in terms of looking realistic. However, we showed the edited clips to our teacher and the feedback we got was that the location looked too much like Hounzo, as you could see some houses in the background and vehicles. Furthermore, myself and the group, as well as our teacher and peers, both agreed 
that the quality of the footage wasn't the best. From this feedback, we decided to change the location of the killing scene to an underground car park, which was suggested by our teacher. This allows the scene to be more understandable as before we filmed on a public road in which a typical chase scene wouldn't happen as there would be too many witnesses. Our improved clips were filmed in the Treaty Centre car park. This time we used one main camera with a full charge so that all footage can be filmed on that, therefore giving us the best quality so we wouldn't have to use our phone if in doubt. The new location allowed the atmosphere of the scene to be conveyed better. We achieved footage from the Civic Centre for the Boss and Yasmin scene. When playing this back to our teachers, they commented that the setting didn't seem as professional as expected. Moreover, the actor's appearance didn't suit the role. Our classmates agreed with this. Due to these setbacks, we also refilmed these scenes. Someone in our group managed to get us access to a Barclays office in Hammersmith. This was a much more appropriate location. It allowed the scenes to look professional and realistic. Furthermore, we used Nikita in our group to play the role of the boss. We thought this was an improvement from our previous actor as she looked more fierce and intense, which fit the role perfectly. To be creative, we also played around with the various shots we got using different angles and focus pulls in the clips. Overall, our refilm products were much more exceptional than our original footage as we took into account the criticism we got. Once the teaser trailer had been completed, we encountered many comments, constructive criticism and compliments. One being, we had successfully portrayed the ghostly theme throughout. Not only this, but the special effects to create Yasmin's ghost had positive reactions when people were viewing the trailer. They had thought it was very impressive and real. I've seen like film posters similar to this one before, the magazine cover, and with half the face sort of covered out, and I can tell just by looking at that that it's a similar film. So like those of a thriller convention. And the poster again is sort of the same thing, half of it's covered, so it just sort of matches what I've seen before of other films of this convention, so yeah it does. Um, for the magazine cover you can tell that um, it portrayed you know their theme their theme with genre of um, thriller and action because of the colours and you can see it's dark. Well. My favourite part of the trailer was when Yasmin turned into a ghost, that's when the whole storyline changed and that's when I started getting what's going on in the trailer. Um, I really liked this shot halfway through where there were loads of like, quick zooms at the buildings and I felt like that really helped set the scene and link to the convention of your trailer. The special effects of the ghost made it seem like there was a ghost within your trailer. <laughs> Definitely, especially when you guys use like that double exposure effect when she um, stood up from her dead body. Um, maybe just the storyline, like the beginning wasn't that clear so I didn't really understand the storyline at the beginning but then towards the end it kind of cleared up. How's <laughs> that? Um, the storyline wasn't that um, clear to the audience so for example when I watched it I didn't really understand what the purpose of the trailer was.